Thanks for being with us on Living It Away. Now's the time for students to speak up, to have a voice on important issues like food. Uh, it's been top of mind during the pandemic, and the Hawaii Youth Food Council wants the next generation to speak up for our future. Calling all high school students, the Hawaii Youth Food Council is looking for a few good men and women uh, of high school ages, and here to talk about the recruitment is Lighty Bernal. Thank you so much for being with us on Living It Away. I appreciate it. Aloha. Thank you for having me. Let's first off uh, tell our viewers what the Hawaii Youth Food Council does, what you guys are all about. Great. Thank you. So the Hawaii Youth Food Council did launch this past school year. It's a group of youth committed to improving the future of food in Hawaii. And we started the council with five youth selected to actually ex plan for an expanded council in the coming year. These five youth are coming from public and private high schools on four islands. The council has been supported by First Lady Donna Manoige, as well as a number of public and private partners, including the Department of Education, Department of Health, Hawaii Public Health Institute, Hawaii Appleseed, Luzon's Project, Seeds of Peace, and YMCA of Honolulu. I know that the 2019-2020 school year got cut off uh, a bit short, more than a bit. Can you tell me some of the activities that you guys accomplished uh, maybe during that year as the Hawaii Youth Food Council? Yes, absolutely. So this past school year, the council took a focus on school food, and they started with a photo voice contest where they asked youth to share about their food experience through photos and essays. And when schools closed, we shifted to asking, what are you eating during school closures? So a lot of interesting responses in terms of how youth are uh, sustaining themselves. And we also did a, the council conducted a survey to say, what, can you tell us more about your school food experience? And that provided some interesting results of high school youth actually asking for more fresh fruits and vegetables, more time to eat school meals, and also an interest, 80% of those who responded want to be part of school-based agriculture programs. I was going to ask, uh, the ages are high school, yes? Yes. Why? Why involve the youth? What what makes them so special? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have a lot to say, and they are very intelligent and very capable. So this, the formation of this council has come out of a growing call to increase youth leadership, youth involvement, youth voice in developing and designing a sustainable future for Hawaii. Um, on a personal level, I got to be involved in a summer internship before my senior year in high school, and that was with the Nature Conservancy here in Hawaii, and it really um, kind of served as a foundational uh, experience for me in learning about our native ecosystems and being exposed to careers in conservation. You may have piqued the interest of a high school student or maybe their parents. How can someone uh, in high school get involved with the council? So we are accepting applications right now through June 30th for high school youth that are interested in being part of the council during the upcoming school year. And that application form is available on the Hawaii Public Health Institute website, hiphi.org slash youth food council. Perfect. I'm going to throw this out there because I know a lot of the businesses that we've spoken to, especially recently, could use it. But how could the community support the Hawaii Youth Food Council right now? How could you guys use the support? Thank you. So really, we are looking for more partners in the public and private sectors um, to be mentors, you know, Policymakers, can you envision how you may involve youth in the work that you're doing at the state level, at the county level? Uh, we also have a need for funding of a part-time coordinator and other program funds in the realm of about $50,000 for the year. So that is a need that we love to put out to the community. And in addition to that, I encourage people to join up for um, the Instagram and Twitter accounts um, to be engaged in learning about what the council is doing and to provide your encouragement. Information, websites, phone numbers, all will be available shortly after the show on KH12.com. Lighty, thank you so much and good luck. Thank you. Aloha.
And there you have it. Again, uh, the information and the story, again, will be posted a little bit later, uh, hopefully before lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of food, but it's a great way for the next generation to get involved on in making those important decisions. I mean, we've seen, especially during this pandemic, uh, a lot of people trying to grow more food and just have more healthy items, too. So it's um, a great way to get involved and have their voices heard. Yeah.